Good morning guys, Dr. Andrew Pinesett here. And if you guys don't know, every single day, every single day is a victory for me in life and I'm happy with it because I set my goals at two things, right? Two things make every day win. The first is that I want to learn something new. I challenge myself every single day to learn something new, either from a book or from a video or for someone or from talking conversation, whatever it might be, I challenge myself to learn something new every single day. That way I make sure every single day I'm making my best better. And the second thing I wanna do is I always wanna help someone every single day. That, that's part of the, what makes my life fulfilling is that I get to help people every single day so I seek out ways to help people. And so what I thought I could do to kind of two birds, one stone it is during this social distancing time is that I could share with you guys what I learned in the morning and that way I'm learning and I'm also teaching you guys. So here we go, stay tuned. This is our first in Mornings with Dr. Pineset. Let's go guys. But stop making excuses, stop whining, stop, right? Get at it. No excuses, just dominate. All right, so this is our first in our series of Mornings with Dr. Pineset. And these are just kind of words that whatever I'm learning about, whatever I'm reading about, I have lots of books on my shelf. So what I make a habit of every morning, and I think you guys should try this too. I actually have my Cult of Greatness students, my student group on my website, we actually are doing community challenges every single week to better ourselves in some way. And so this week our challenge is self-improvement where I'm challenging all my students every single day to set aside an hour to better themselves in some way. And we're working through that with different challenges. But I wanted, one of the things that I do to make sure that I'm improving myself every day is that I set aside time every single morning, no matter what I have going on in my day, I set aside at least a couple minutes to read something. As part of this reading, I think that you guys should do this, but the most important part of it is not just the reading of it, because a lot of people read books. You read the book and you use elaborative interrogation, which is one of these research proven methods that not a lot of people know how to do. But essentially, when we read something, we don't take it at face value. When we learn something, we don't take it at face value. We elaborate on it, we expand on it, we drill it down and we see what it really means to us. And so that's what I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today. Our today's reading that I did was a book called The Practicing Mind. Um, it's by Thomas M. Sterner. It's Developing Focus and Discipline in Your Life. It's a great book, I read it a long time ago, but it's, it's always good. I I keep certain books, I don't keep every book on my shelf, but I keep certain books that I think have messages that will resonate with me later on. And it's interesting, I open this book up and the first page is the introduction and the first line of this book, and then I actually ended up writing an entire page inside the book, I don't know if you guys can see that, just based on the first line of this book. And that's an example of elaborate interrogation and so I wanna share with you guys what I read. Are you ready? Real peace and contentment in our lives come from realizing that life is a process to engage in a journey down a path that we can choose to experience as magical. I love that, right? As part of this elaborate interrogation, it'll help you guys, like you guys talk about critical thinking, you guys talk about the MCAT test, about SAT. If you guys learn to elaborate interrogate every single thing that you read or that you come across, it's going to help you be a critical thinker because you're thinking deeper than just the words. And so for this one sentence, like I said, I wrote a page. Um, but for me, I think that it starts with saying the words, real peace and contentment in our lives. And in this time of social distancing, I think, I was telling my student group, I think this is gonna be a time of reflection for a lot of people to examine what real contentment, real happiness, what real joy and peace in their lives are. Because I think that so many people in their lives use distraction as a tool, right, to distance themselves from the discontentment of their lives, from the unhappiness, from the anxiety they feel in their everyday life, right? We're not happy with who we are, what we're doing, and so we use distractions, social media, video games, whatever it might be to distract us, right? From what was our real life, right? We go out and we drink and we do all these things. And so I think this time is gonna be a time for people to reflect on, am I really happy with my life and with myself? And what can I do to make myself really happy? And so for you guys, what is your measuring stick of real peace and real contentment? What does it mean to you to say, oh, you know what? I wanna be at peace with myself and with my decisions. I often say that I don't have any real regrets. I have one major regret in my life, but even that, it was a bridge to something better. And so I think that I have real contentment and real peace with my life because like I said earlier, I keep it very simple. Two goals, learn something new every day and make someone's life better every day. And by doing those two things, what's amazing is that I guarantee my life is better, but then I also guarantee that I'm making other people's lives better, which is where for me as a measuring stick, contentment and joy comes from, is that I love the feeling of growth. I love the feeling of, ooh, I'm getting better. Ooh, I'm getting better. And maybe this is sick or whatever, <laughs> but the reason I love that is because I'm a true competitor at heart. I don't know if some of my 
true competitors are out there right now, let me know. But I love competition. And I love competition not for the, th not necessarily even for the thrill of winning, which is great, but I really love like the fact that there was a competition. There were other people who could have won and I stepped up and rose above, right? Maybe that's weird to say, but I love that sensation of knowing that I am my best, that my best is the best. I love that. And so the reason I love that is because I recognize that our best comes from us working on it. Our best comes from us striving on it. Our best comes from us actively saying, I'm going to be better. I'm going to make my best the best. And so that's why I get such a thrill out of competition. I get such a thrill out of being the best because I know that the only way you become the best is by hard work and by discipline and by working on your craft. And so every victory I have in my life, I'm always thankful for and I always celebrate because I know the work it took to create that victory. And so I want you guys to ask yourself today, and I guess I was gonna read the whole sentence, but I guess we'll come back to that in another video because I'm, 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 there was so much meat just in that first part. I wanna ask you guys, what does your life really mean to you, right? What, what do you want your life to be? What do you want people to say about you? What do you wanna say about yourself? What would make you really, really, really joyful? What would make you really, really content with how things are going? And what would make you at peace with the life that you're living? And ask yourself, hey, was I living that life or do I need to make changes? Do I need to be different? Do I need to be better? What do I need to do to live the life that I truly, truly want to live? And for me, as when I transformed myself from an average student, from a below average student, from a, a student who was told I wouldn't survive in college, to becoming someone who graduated the top of my Stanford Medical School class, a big part of that was me looking in the mirror and recognizing I'm not happy with who I am. I'm doing things that aren't in line with my core values. I'm doing things that aren't in line with my life goals. I'm doing things that just aren't me. I'm being a sheep following the crowd, right? Before social media, I was doing the latest challenge, right? And so some of you guys may be in that place where you recognize, man, I'm not going the direction I wanna go. I'm not. How do we get our lives back on track and in line with ourselves? And as part of this, I, I know I talked about winning and being your best and being the best, but it's really about being your best because we all have our own measuring stick for what success is. Like I said, mine are very simple. I wanna get better every day and I wanna make someone else better every day. So for you guys, find what is really gonna make you happy, set that as a goal every single day and see what you can do to start making your life happier for yourself and use this social distancing time as a time to regroup, to recenter, to refocus on yourself and get yourself in alignment with where you want to be with contentment and joy. All right, guys. So I hope you guys have a great, great day. And like I said, I'm gonna start doing more of these. Uh, if you like this, comment, let me know. Like this, let me know so I know I'm hitting you guys where you need it uh, during this time of COVID-19 craziness and social distancing. And what is it called? I, my, my aunt called me yesterday and, and, and in Northern California, they're calling it um, sheltered in or something like that. We try to make it sound nice, this quarantine. Um, but it's a difficult time, but use this as a time to grow and to send yourself. Thank you guys very much. I'm Dr. Pineset. My website is studenttransformation.com. I've got great courses over there to help you be a better student, to help you get into medical school if that's what you want to do. And also I've got great coaching programs. If you want to work with me, want to work with my students, want to be part of our community, the cult of greatness, then get over there. Thank you guys very much. I'll see you next time. Oh, and as always, you guys almost let me leave here without saying our slogan, our motto, our phrase. What do we always end our videos with, guys? It's on the shirt for you guys who are new to us. No excuses, just dominate, guys. Today is your day, let's get better. Today is the day, guys. No more excuses, no more complaining. You're going to take your future into your own hands. You're going to dominate, you're going to be successful. Get to my website, studenttransformation.com. I challenge you. What are you going to do today to make your life better?